Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the small rig cage for the Sony A6300. Let's get into it. All right, so the small rig camera cage. It is quite a essential piece of kit. So this is the camera cage. It is made out of aluminium. We've got some rubber pads on the bottom here with some cross hatching just to sort of isolate any noise from the camera if there are any small movements between the camera and the cage. Also have the quarter 20 threaded screw here at the bottom to obviously attach the cage to your camera. There is a cold shoe up the top here and uh, just a absolute uh, smorgasbord of quarter 20s and other thread types on here. There are two little countersunk areas here that have been milled out. I don't know quite why Small Rig put those there. I don't know if it was to lessen the weight. However, you have companies like custom battery grips that actually make a battery add-on for these specific cages. And the little peripherals that are up on the top here actually line up perfectly with those holes or little slots at the bottom. I don't know if that was intentional by Small Rig, but uh, it certainly was intentional with the custom battery grips. If you haven't checked out the custom battery grips video I've done already, links will be in the description or possibly at the end of the video. Okay, so it is fairly easy to install. You just grab your A6000 series camera, pop it right into the front here, and then we do up the quarter 20 screw at the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't actually block anything on the camera. You can still get to all your dials, you can still get to the power switch, custom buttons, you can still keep the little jingly um, camera strap parts on the sides, that is just fine. You can also still open up the uh, charging and HDMI and uh, audio in port on the side there. Uh, yeah, not really anything is actually blocked, you can still open the battery door. This is something that you would invest in. Uh, and I do say invest in because you are protecting at the end of the day, your investment into the camera that this cage is protecting. So the main purpose of this cage is to protect the camera as best as it can. Obviously it doesn't fully encompass the camera. Therefore it's only really gonna stop it if the camera is falling on one of the sides or on a corner. However, it's still obviously great to have. And for how cheap these are, I, I believe they're 30 30 something dollars now, which I think I bought this for about $50 Australian when I bought it a bit over a year ago. Absolutely fantastic value. Now, the second thing this can do is give you a lot more spots to actually mount things and stuff. Specifically, uh, those things being the uh, camera handles, whether you have the side handles or the top handle, you can also mount obviously things that have the cold shoe mounts. You can buy so many accessories for these cages to add additional cold shoe mounts. Yeah. These camera cages allow you to bolt pretty much anything that has a quarter 20 thread or uh, anything that has a cold shoe to the actual cage. And uh, I'll pop up a quick video of this camera in what I would call the uh, photography, videography mode uh, for when I'm out with a customer doing a photo shoot or video shoot. That is pretty much the way that that camera is set up. Uh, and as you can see, there is a lot of stuff on there. We've got the handle, we've got the uh, field monitor. There is the wireless mic. There's a battery bank. There is also the camera battery add-on. And I'm sure I'm missing a few other things that are on there as well. But there's a lot of stuff you can bolt to these cages and they are just great, handy to have. And it's also cheap insurance just to protect the camera. But yeah, I don't really have any issues with it. It's been great, never had a problem. Build quality is excellent. You know, the coating's pretty durable. I have dropped it a couple times and there's a few little silver bits on there. But apart from that, it has been an absolute little uh, workhorse. Never had an issue with it. The flex flexibility of bolting and adding on a bunch of different stuff from small rig or even other companies. Again, anything that has a quarter 20 thread uh, or even sometimes a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger thread, you can bolt pretty much anything to it. It's a basic thing that I believe everyone should have after buying a camera. It's just worth it purely for the protection and also the peace of mind that you get. I absolutely love it. It's affordable. It is great for protection and great for expandability, flexibility, specifically with small rig never really had an issue with this small rig cage or any other small rig product I've had so yeah their quality speaks for itself so anyway if you are thinking about picking up a camera cage no matter what camera it is for definitely definitely recommend picking one up it is just great to have that little bit of protection on the camera thank you very much for watching the video any questions or anything about the small rig cage or the battery add-on for it from custom battery grips uh, let me know down in the comments but with all that said Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and if you stuck around, you're a bloody legend. And uh, yeah, 
I'll see you all in the next video.